This week's top 10, from racist threats to electrifying concerts. Welcome to our weekly roundup of the most important events you need to know about. From political controversies to entertainment debuts, we've got it all covered. We've got everything from a congressman issuing threats that would make a mob boss blush to a high school student bringing a loaded gun to school. So buckle up, because we're diving headfirst into the dumpster fire that is current events. Let's dive in. Clay Higgins. Congressman or comic book villain? Right, let's start with Representative Clay Higgins, who seems to have confused his role as a lawmaker with that of a Batman villain, issuing threats against Haitian migrants, using language that would make a racist parrot blush. It's not just bad politics, it's bad humaning. You know, the basic stuff like treat others with respect, don't threaten violence. Things you'd think wouldn't need explaining to a sitting member of Congress. But apparently, we're living in a world where we need to explain these things. And the Congressional Black Caucus calling for his censure. Well, that's about as surprising as the sun coming up in the east. Higgins' comments are so far beyond the pale, they're practically in another dimension. A dimension where common decency is a forgotten relic, and bigotry is the national pastime. Someone needs to remind Higgins that he's supposed to be representing the people, not auditioning for a role in a poorly written action movie. Seriously, someone get this man a scriptwriter, because this current performance is just embarrassing. Kamala Harris. What will she say? So, Stephanie Ruley's got an interview coming up with Vice President Kamala Harris. And let me tell you, the anticipation is palpable. What burning questions will she ask? What insightful answers will we receive? Will they discuss the pressing issues facing our nation? Or will they just politely dance around the elephant in the room? I'm hoping for some real talk, some honest-to-God discussion about the challenges we're facing and the potential solutions. Because let's be real, things are complicated. And we need more than just sound bites and platitudes. Rulers usually pretty good at getting to the heart of the matter, so I'm optimistic. But then again, I'm also a cynical pessimist so who knows? Maybe it'll be a complete softball interview. Maybe they'll just talk about the weather. But hey, a guy can dream, right? A guy can dream of a political landscape where actual conversations happen, where politicians answer tough questions and engage in meaningful dialogue. Inside Out 2 Emotional Roller Coaster or just a sequel? Inside Out 2 is hitting Disney Plus this week, and I'm both excited and apprehensive. The first one was a masterpiece. A genuinely touching and insightful exploration of human emotions. So, can the sequel live up to the hype? I mean, sequels are notoriously tricky. They often fall flat, failing to capture the magic of the original. But then again, sometimes they surprise you. Sometimes they manage to build on the foundation of the first film creating something even more compelling. So, what will Inside Out 2 bring to the table? New emotions, new characters, new emotional landscapes. The possibilities are endless, and that's both exciting and terrifying. Chapter 4. Loaded Gun at School. A story we've heard before. A teenager bringing a loaded gun to William Penn High School. It's a headline we've seen far too many times. And every time, it's just as gut-wrenching. Because it's a reminder of the very real dangers facing our children. School should be a safe haven. A place where kids can learn and grow without fear. But sadly, that's not always the case. And incidents like this one just reinforce that reality. It's easy to point fingers, to blame the parents, the school, the community. 
But the truth is, it's a complex problem with no easy solutions, and it's going to take a collective effort to address it. We need to talk about gun control. We need to talk about mental health. Chapter 5 Charlie XCX and Troy Sivan light up MSG. Charlie XCX and Troy Sivan at Madison Square Garden. It's the kind of musical collaboration that dreams are made of. And judging by the reviews, it lived up to the hype. Apparently, the energy was electric, the music was infectious, and the performances were nothing short of spectacular. It sounds like the kind of concert that leaves you buzzing for days. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little jealous of everyone who got to witness it. Chapter 6 Catch the Sweat Tour While You Can Speaking of the Sweat Tour, if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, what are you waiting for? This isn't just a concert, it's an experience. It's a chance to see two incredible artists at the top of their game. And let's be real, live music is just different. It's a visceral experience. It's a connection between the artists and the audience. It's something you can't replicate with a recording. So do yourself a favor and get tickets. You won't regret it. Chapter seven, Open AI. What does the future hold? Mira Marathi leaving Open AI. It's a big deal, a really big deal, because Marathi isn't just some random employee. She's the chief technology officer, the person responsible for driving the company's technological innovation. So, what does her departure mean for the future of OpenAI? It's hard to say, but it's definitely a cause for concern. Chapter 8 Micron Technology Riding the AI wave, Micron's stock is surging, and for good reason, because they're riding the AI wave, and that wave is showing no signs of crashing. The demand for AI technology is exploding, and Micron is perfectly positioned to capitalize on that demand, because they're one of the leading providers of advanced chips, the kind of chips that power AI systems. Investors are clearly optimistic about Micron's future, and it's easy to see why. Chapter 9. Mark Cuban deconstructs Trump's strategy. Mark Cuban has some thoughts on Trump's political strategy, and those thoughts are worth listening to, because Cuban is a smart guy, and he knows a thing or two about business and politics. His analysis of Trump's strategy is insightful and thought-provoking. He breaks down how Trump is appealing to his base and how that strategy is impacting the political landscape. Cuban's perspective is particularly valuable because he's not a political pundit. He's a businessman. Chapter 10. Mike Lindell's Nazi Confusion. Mike Lindell is confused. Apparently, he doesn't understand why people are linking his pricing strategies to Nazi claims. Which, honestly, is just mind-boggling. The controversy surrounding Lindell's business practices and public statements just keeps getting weirder and weirder. And this latest development is no exception. It's hard to know what to make of it.